Hi everyone, it's Dave here. I am bringing you another, well, what is this? Unbagging? It's in a bag, it's not in a box. Um, unbagging and kind of first look at this Manfrotto Street backpack, which I've bought recently. You may have seen this in one of my haul videos. Um, so I'm gonna obviously get the bag off it, and that's gonna be straightforward. Um, just take a look around it, really, kind of get a feel for it, have a look at uh, inside some of the compartments, etc. Um, if you did see this in a haul video, you would have heard me say there, this is something I've been looking at for a while and it's been on my kind of wish list. Um, finally took the plunge and got it. Um, looks like an awesome bag. I've seen a few other YouTubers um, that have this bag. Um, um, and I do love a rucksack. So anyway, let's get straight into this now, get it opened up and give you my kind of first look and thoughts. Okay, so round to the bag we go. So let's... That's it. Unbag it. Wait, that's the end of the video. Unboxed. No, not really. Only joking. Um, but um, I think I said it is from Manfrotto. Um, so hopefully you get to see there. It's the street collection. So it's there. Down there. Street collection. Uh, indeed from Manfrotto. So um, various tags on here which I'll get off later as I'm at the back I will have a quick look at the back and I, I'm seeing this live just as you are we have the straps there um, there is I can obviously undo that like so so we have a strap there we kind of have I'm assuming here is a bit of a uh, handle here um, to grab hold of and carry it um, these are all I think brass buckle buck buckles um, but yeah if not they're certainly metal um, very solid and what we see here but you know you'd expect nothing less really for the quality that is Manfrotto so let's start off with these side pouches and you can't get into that so first off we have one side pouch there and there when we open up we get to see the camo look and feel there's one on that side and if we go around to the other side Again, one that side there. So you obviously can fit some bits and pieces in there. I will probably put in mine a external um, battery power bank um, in there. So going around to the front, let's look at these zips first. Obviously I'm doing this for the first time. So there is a little sort of pouch in there as well. I could actually fit a charger in there or power bank rather it's quite tight to get in there i have to say so if you've got big hands like me you're going to struggle to get in it but i'm sure that's going to be some use and i see there is another one here obviously bigger area so you can get more into it but again nice handy compartment um, that we have there okay again so whilst we're on the front we will now unzip the first pouch goes down again you see this niceness this is all very well padded actually it is quite thick um, padding that's on there if I bring this forward you can see the compartments in here these are all velcro so these can be taken out adjusted etc but in here obviously you can fit a uh, camera in there yeah if you had a DSLR that would fit in that particular area there quite nicely um, you can fit additional lenses in here additional batteries power packs etc etc um, is mainly designed for photo for blah, 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 photography um, but to be honest this can be used for everyday use for anything these can come out of here and this can just be a separate pouch um, there is a section up here which i believe that looks like there's zips in actually which is really good um, and there's another um, padded bit all the way around this actually does this all come out no, I think that's attached in there, but there are certain pieces down there. Let's uh, zip that one up. Okay, now we're going to go into the main compartment itself. So double zips, go either way, pull those down, open it up. Again, the camo feeling, so we've got some cardboard in it. This is obviously just for the, uh, to pad it out really, um, will be the reason they do that. So. First off, you can probably see in there, we have a pouch there where uh, you could put bits and pieces in these, obviously pens, etc. some deeper than others. Um, but a nice, nice large um, compartment there, I have to say. 
hopefully you can see that. There's the label, Manfrotto. We also have a bit of a pouch in there, which hopefully you can see, with the Manfrotto logo um, on that as well. Um, now inside here, which I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see, there is the separator from this compartment to the compartment below, and this zips in. So you can take this out and make this into one, one large backpack um, if you want to. And I think at it, there should be another pouch, of course. Yes, there is another one here at the rear. Um, and we open that one up, and that one does indeed go all the way down, and that is for um, laptops. Um, I think you can get up to a 15-inch laptop in there. Mine's a 13-inch, and I'm sure that'll fit in there. Very easy, but I'm pretty sure you can get 15 inch um, laptops in there. So that's kind of it really for my first look at this Manfrotto Street backpack. Um, but my first impressions is excellent quality. I mean, you can just feel the quality of this product. Um, very well put together, good double stitching um, all around that I can see um, on this product. I think, I'm pretty sure it's um, not, waterproof water resistant i'm pretty sure uh, i'm not 100 percent but anyway um there we go guys first look of the man frotto street backpack awesome item in my opinion from my first look i will get this into use very very soon hopefully you've enjoyed this um unbagging stroke first look um at the man frotto street backpack if you have Give the video a big thumbs up. Any comments, questions, feedback, leave down in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. That just leaves me to say, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. See you later. Bye.